All right, guys. So as you guys know, guys and girls, I should start the vlogs better by including everyone. How many of y'all are girls? How many of y'all guys? Because I would like to know how do I address everyone? Okay. Anyway, each one of these vlogs were getting better and better, as you've probably seen. We are going everywhere. We're introducing new people into the vlog. So today, another new guest is my best friend in the whole wide world, Emma. I had a whole vlog planned for today, and then Rob basically ruined the whole vlog. Would you like to tell them how you ruined the vlog today? How did I ruin the vlog? I just started the vlog. How did I ruin it already? You ruined it. Ooh. Emma. Everyone's supposed to go to dinner, and I was supposed to bring my friend Emma, and it was supposed to be a vibe, and then I come out here and Rob's eating damn well, I already had my food here. I wasn't gonna go buy more food because that wouldn't be financially smart. So I ate the food that I already had and they planned to go eat. Here's the bright side of everything. You can now maybe go on a date with Emma. A date? I wouldn't even know if he would classify it as a date. Classified as, I, I mean, it's whatever. I don't even care. Do you, Ryan, want to go on a date with Emma? I'm not opposed to that idea. Emma, do you take Ryan as your date for tonight? I mean, I guess. You may now go on a date. Burr, 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 Ryan and Emma. <laughs> so a little funny thing I want to tell you guys. What ethnicity would y'all think she is? Cause you remind me of like a Chantel Jeffries. Like your eyes are like green. What, what color are they? Blue hazel. Blue hazel. You told me that you're just white. Yeah. So you're not mixed with anything at all? No. Emma's ethnicity is just, it's just white. Now I'm not saying white's a bad thing. It's just, she looks like she's something else. And you said you're the only one in your family that looks like that. Yeah. Bro, it is hot as balls in here right now. So Emma here got Sprite and lemonade mix. It's bomb. So Ryan's gonna try it. Lemonade Sprite mix. It's just like lemonade. No, it's different. Let me taste mine. She thought that was hers. That's Wait, that's the one. And you were like, no, it's actually different. <laughs> she was drinking the regular lemonade. So I got the Dasani water, even though they said this is like bad for you. Remember the whole Shane Dawson thing? Mm. It like fizzes more. There's something in Dasani <laughs> that they don't tell us. Doesn't everyone not like Dasani? I was saying that Emma only talks when the camera's off. Which is not true. I'm trying to give you the floor to say whatever you want. Mm. Nope. <laughs> Emma and I are really close friends, but you wouldn't know it based on the vlogs because you don't say nothing. Why are you putting me on the spot? You can put me on the spot if you want. Well, yeah, because this is your channel. Well, true. I don't know. I just want you to tell everyone your life story so they can get to Girl, know this you. This date isn't going very well. Ooh. When I get around like cute girls and stuff, I don't know how to act sometimes. So just forgive me. Pants, pants on, on the, the ground, ground. Pants, pants on, on the, the ground. ground. Looking like a fool with your pants on the ground. No, she knows. She knows. It's crazy. Times we live in, we're getting older. Soon people aren't gonna know what that is. Y'all kids probably don't know what that's about. We're that old already? Uh huh. How old are you? Twenty. Yeah. Twenty. Oh, that's old. This is you. <laughs> Respect your elders. Can you hold this too? Cause I gotta tie my pants. Tie these pants. Cool. You good to go? Yeah. So that was like really romantic. Yeah. What would you rate that on like one out of 10 from like your best dates that you've ever been on? Um, like a seven. Yes, yeah. Daddy. Okay. What could I have done better? Let me talk. Bruh. Oof. Comment down below your favorite Chick-fil-A sauces. Mine is buffalo, honey mustard, and Chick-fil-A. I'm here with my lovely girlfriend on our date now. Something crazy that I just wanted to bring up real quick. My sandwich, I open it up, and it actually is like a heart. If you can see that, like, wow. she has a heart. And I want to give it to you. Really? Because, like, I want to give you my heart. Really? Yes, Dad. There you go. I'll give you mine, too. Oh, wow. That's crazy. But mine's Here's... in the shape of like a literal heart. This one's more like a triangle. That one's a real heart. I guess like I love you or whatever. Thanks. Yeah, dude. So how you come around here often? Yeah. You ever seen blasting inappropriate music in the library? Prank videos? Oh, no, God. I've never seen those. Got you, got you. I'm go for a healthier option from 7-Eleven that delivers. Whew. So you're telling me you bought Razor Brand? Yes. Cereal. Yeah. So was that like a result of childhood trauma or what kind of made you want to buy that? What's your problem with that? I've never heard of someone buying Raisin Bran. It was the healthiest thing that they had. So do you, are you a very healthy eater? I try to be. Can you put me on a little regime, like a little diet? I mean, it starts by like not eating Chick-fil-A. As you eat Chick-fil-A, you're going to eat Chick-fil-A and then tonight probably eat celery or something. I'm going to order ice cream after this. So Ooh, I think ice cream sounds good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> do you want ice cream? 
Oh, we can sit on the on the balcony. Yeah, yeah, like but why do you eat your sandwich like that? Dude, nobody knows about that. Mm, that was good that you called me out there. I like that about you. Pay attention to like little stuff like that. That's really nice. No, but why do you yeah. eat your sandwich like okay, that? Okay, look. Um, yeah. This bun is very delicious, and I just take it off and enjoy it at the end because. If you just have the bun by itself, it smacks crazy. And you're telling me I'm weird because I eat raisin bran, but you eat the bun by itself. Which do y'all think is weirder? Eating the bun by itself from Chick-fil-A or eating raisin bran? And then they were trying you to conspire. Dip it in sauce? Yeah, I do I go like this. So I eat my thing like this. No, the bun on its own. Oh no, no, no. And Loki got the butter on it, so it's not dry. And then Ryan was getting mad at me because in one of the previous vlogs, I was showing them how I have Captain Crunch cereal without the berries. And he said I should be in prison for that. But then Emma says she has the same type. Exactly. It's the best. I don't know why they would even make that. Like, it's good with the berries. It's but better without them. What's wrong without them? You think it tastes better without the berries? Yeah, just the sweetness on its own without the fruit. Captain Crunch without the berries is like the Country Music Awards without Lil Nas X. You can't, you can't do that. I don't think that's a fair comparison. You don't think so? No. I'm a sugar addict, so I need everything to be sweet. That's why I got the sweetest girl in all the land. Aww. See how, that's fellas, you just gotta turn it around real fast. I've been getting on her nerves today, but at the end of the day, she knows I'm a big sweetheart and I really just care. Cheers to being in love forever. Aww. She, Cheers. She's with it, she's with it. I put this thing on my story yesterday, an orangutan holding some pretty girl's hand. The pretty girl said, my beautiful girlfriend, and then the orangutan said, my weird wondering how I was able to pull this off or something. So right. that's like what it is. That's like what it is. I think you're objectively prettier than me. You think so? I think so. I wouldn't say I'm pretty. Guys can't be pretty, can they? Yes. There's like pretty boys and then like men. So what am I? It's a good question. <laughs> I, I don't think I'm a ugh, but I'm not a boy. You're kind of a pretty boy, but you're a little <laughs> edgier. Edgy pretty boy. I, I might take that one. Edgy? Mm-hmm. What makes you say that? The tots and your style. And what type of guys do you gravitate t towards? Like, do you have a type? Like, oh, black, white, Caucasian, uh, greens, beans, tomatoes, tattoos, mustache, clean shaven face. I don't think it's really about that. It's all about the personality. No, 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 no. No way, no way. Do you gravitate towards a specific look on a guy? Like, guys with curls, guys with dark hair, guys with big arms. Well, yeah, everyone has like a preference. So what's yours? Cute, light-skinned YouTuber guys with tattoos? Yeah, maybe. What did your last boyfriend look like? White, brown hair. I could tell you didn't like him that much, judging by the description. <laughs> White, <laughs> brown hair. He's in the military. Okay, respect. She's digging my kick game. <laughs> I wanted to lay down. My wonderful queen, Emma, wanted to help me clean because my Cause room- look at this. <gasps> Oh, I really just got blasted in front of a whole vlog. I was just tired and I just threw everything in here. I was like, I don't even want to look at it. Here we are. You need to start folding it. She's really getting right to it. So you didn't come and Chick-fil-A with us? I didn't. I was manning the uh, house here. Anybody break in? No. Nope. What would you do if somebody tried to break in? I actually don't know. I would try my best to like... <laughs> No one break in, please. You streaming? Yeah. You still do that? Still streaming. People don't even know I stream, which is kind of the sad part. Wow. We'll leave the link down below. Rob's birthday was ruined by quarantine. He couldn't go anywhere or do anything. I went to the Melrose Trading Post and I got you this jean jacket. You got it for me? All for you. This was a hundred dollars, Rob. So you didn't buy it for you and it just didn't fit, so you're giving it to me? Of course not, Rob. Oh. You know, regardless, I appreciate it. Well, I saw this. I said. Rob would like that. I do like it, Ryan. Let's see if it fits you. Let's see. Oh, it fits. Oh, it's pretty hard. I feel like that fit. This might not be the right fit. You know, my hair still needs to grow out and stuff, but I think it's Elton. trying to do something. Elton John? Look, if y'all know Rob, y'all know Rob loves Elton John. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Ryan. Thank yeah, you. Appreciate you. it. The real thesis of this vlog that I wanted to discuss is how in today's day and age, People are too sensitive. They are. I couldn't have said it any better. Can you give an example of where you think people have overreacted to something or like you can't joke around about anything? I don't know if you've had any personal experiences. Well, I just feel like anytime someone makes a joke online, it just always gets turned and people get offended over everything. And this is what happened to me today. So those of you who follow me on Instagram, which is a few people watching this vlog, I posted a story where I was in the Uber and the guy had a plastic shield around his driver's seat stapled to the roof and 
It wasn't completely airtight sealed, but it was like this little saran wrap looking cover. And I put on my story, I was like, bro, my Uber driver's going so hard. Bro, I get that you want to be cautious and you're working your job. But at that point, don't be an Uber driver if you've got to do the damn quarantine off saran wrap look and i was like that's the equivalent of being scared of animals but working at the zoo maybe don't work at the zoo if you're that worried he's just trying to earn a living for his family rhino this is the worst thing you've ever posted i've followed you for a while Ooh, he's trying to get that money an array of different things about how i'm terrible i here's why i hate famous people and all my friends were like sent laughing emojis back because i posted that for like giggles but i realized you can't joke about anything yo y'all be so angry just like off the jump it's an honest man making an honest living for his family his parents could have died of covid and he's working to pay off the bills my point was uber is not the only occupation that you can get in hard times sorry i had to say it oh i said it uh oh sorry my bad there are different jobs people can get hard now absolutely is it hard to get a job for sure i thought oh why don't you do uber eats where you have to come in less contact with people sitting in your close vicinity i posted that thinking oh this guy's like went all hard i'm not going into all the hard serious life implications so now i'm not gonna post nothing on my instagram story anymore because like I, you can't say anything anymore i don't know what to make of it how should we move forward emma like can i say anything anymore can i do anything like i feel like no matter what there's always going to be someone who creates a problem out of anything there's no going back to how things were back in the day make fun of someone you can't do it anymore no like, I don't think there's going to be comedians. You think the comedian, the comedy industry is going to just be wiped out? Yeah, or it's going to turn into something weird. If you guys are watching this, don't get offended by the littlest things. You can't make any gender jokes. You can't make a gay joke, a straight joke. You can't make a joke about the pandemic. Let's just sit and smile. Now in 2020, because we're adapting our vlogs to change with the times, this is how all of our vlogs are gonna be from now on. Let's, let's just practice, right? To say nothing to offend anybody. G Willikers, Emma, thank you so much for joining me tonight. My pleasure. What do you say we turn on a movie? Okay. Where's the remote? Where is the remote? I don't know. Let's just sit here and do nothing. And but remote. don't touch me though. Oh, I would never do that. Because that's harassment. And I would never harass anyone, because we are good people. And we don't do anything. Live a little. Crack a joke. How do we fix that? I don't think it's going to be fixed. How can I fix it? You're a beautiful, strong woman. You can fix anything. You fix my heart. <laughs> she got the no-show socks on. You're showing my feet for free? You can pay for those now. <laughs> blur that out. Blur that out. I'm assuming you've been asked for feet pics. A handful of times. Why feet, though? Now, what about hands? Some people do do hands, though. But girls' feet, it's like a different level i would like to talk to somebody who like has bought feet pics before let's try to find somebody who's like a proud foot pic owner i'd be a little scared emma's gonna tell me how many followers she has on instagram like four thousand okay four thousand the people that blow up on tiktok and on social media don't y'all think she could be like big look at that face dude. Oh, <laughs> like i'm speaking completely objectively here like not like oh i like you like oh let's flirt why, why can't you be a Charlie D'Amelio level? What's your TikTok and what's your Instagram? TikTok, Emma.Erdman, E-R-D-M-A-N. Instagram, Emma.Erdman. You're like one, two million followers, five million or something. I feel like you just have that famous look. I look like a, you know, logo, the peanut, peanut logo. Like the, the peanut emoji? No, not the emoji. I was saying the peanut, like Shoot. planters, peanuts, the peanut with the top hat and the- Well, magnifying glass? Uh-huh. I don't look famous. She looks famous. Are you saying you're famous? I'm popular on the internet in a certain subset of the internet. I don't know, people have come up to me before and said they watch videos, so I don't know. But you said you weren't famous in that other vlog. I'm not, look, I'm not famous. Like, Let's say internet famous. Okay. Are we internet famous? I feel like, yeah. What do you think? Yeah. You, YouTube. YouTube famous. Correct, yeah, I think so. Influencer. influencer. I wouldn't say I'm an influencer. Do you think I'm an influencer? Yeah. I don't like the term influencer. I'm sorry, did I offend you? I, you did, you can't joke about so, influencers. Uh, there's so many things I wanna talk about, about people getting offended, but I can't because some people will get offended. <laughs> uh, can you be famous? Yeah, I'll work on it. Like just, you I'll need like better. you need to. If you don't get famous, I'm gonna get up like pissed. Yeah, I feel like you have to live up to your, what's your, your destiny. Okay, my destiny? Uh-huh. Okay, I'll work harder. Can y'all make her famous just right now? I don't know how many people watch it. Just make her famous. I just need to see you with like a two, like two million. Just like two. Two, million. just two. Just get two million just on two. Instagram. On Instagram. You don't even have two million on Instagram. I know, cause I don't look like you. Would you be in a guy's body if you could? Would you switch bodies for a day? For a day, yeah. Would you? Would I? You pretend to be her right now. She pretends to be you. Can you do the Ryan reaction? Do you want me to do it right now? Yeah. Gotcha. Okay, so anytime you walk anywhere, there's a mirror. You like stop, you like check yourself out and keep walking. 
and then you go back and then you sit down and you're like I'm so ugly. Why aren't you famous? And you're like, but I look good. I don't do that every time. Every single time you walk by a mirror, I've noticed. Or a reflection, like in the glass. Just any type of way you can look at yourself. And you know, I think I do that because it's fascinating to look at yourself. It's a fascinating concept to look at your reflection because I never get to see myself. So you think you're fascinating looking? You could say that. Okay. Can I not do that? No, you can do it. Okay. Confidence. I'll be more cognizant of it, so I won't do it every time. I think you're doing it right now. <laughs> you're doing it right we now. Good, we good. You have anything else you want to get off your chest for the vlog? This yeah. is your big moment. Um, no. You don't want to say anything? Like what? I've always wanted to say this. You should follow me on Instagram and TikTok. A respectable plug, okay? What if they say, she's a clout chaser? I'm not a clout chaser. Isn't that what a clout chaser would say? And how am I a clout chaser if you were the one who hit me up and I didn't even know who you were? Cut, cut. <laughs> Emma's capping like a Colin Kaepernick over here. Here's how we met. Emma models. She's friends with a photographer that I know. I was hanging out with my photographer friend. He was taking photos of her. I met Emma there and we just clicked. There whatever it was just cool vibes she had a nice personality i'm sexy so like it worked out exactly that's how it went ain't no hitting up you talked to me first and okay. i didn't know who you were and i was like hey what's your instagram and you asked for my instagram yeah just because i wanted to see so that you could show off your blue check mark look is that what it was is that what it seemed like to you i asked about yourself and you automatically were like let me get your instagram <laughs> you're like hold on i need her to know that i'm famous first before i can talk to her it'll make a difference did it make a difference not really uh, here's how i actually wish i was like hey what's up nice to meet you blah 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 i'm so and so ryan nice to meet you we were just cooling i said like, oh yeah what's your what's your instagram because she was modeling and i was like let me see your work mm -hmm. i just wanted to see your work yeah. And then I wanted you to hang out. And that's what we're doing right now. Basically, I'm smooth, is what you're saying. You're super smooth. There you go. Yes, she Daddy. said it. All right, now go be famous. Okay.